It is your feel good breakfast show indeed. Welcome to it. It's a Friday. So excited for the weekend, but so excited to still have the rest of the show because we've got so much excitement happening here. I know. We mm. just had tea, but you and is all the way in the Seychelles, and he's actually making us a delicious hibiscus tea mm. uh, recipe that's going to bring that exotic island lifestyle straight to your home, and you can make it in the comfort of your home as well. His tan is looking so good. Though. I know. Hey, he's browner than I am. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So far, I've been absolutely loving my Seychelles adventure. Of course, I am here in the Seychelles, looking forward to the Seychelles Carnival taking place this weekend. But right now, I'm on a beautiful catamaran with the name Nkalindao, which means a roaring lion with the South African crew living the absolute Seychelles war dream. And the head chef on board offered to make me a beautiful, refreshing drink to go along with this tropical climate. Giselle, nice to be with you. Thank you so much for offering to make me this lovely drink. Yeah, welcome to the Seychelles, and it's a pleasure. So, before we get started, I believe that you've been a chef to some pretty high-profile people. I have. Um, my career has taken me to many different places. I've been here in the Seychelles um, and working privately mostly for uh, celebrities. One of them being um, Steven Seagal, where I travelled uh, to America to go and cook for him for a year and followed him to Romania for a couple of, uh, couple of months uh, where we were shooting movies. And um, what actually brought me here to the Seychelles is uh, I was working on North Island where Kate and William uh, spent their honeymoon. Uh, so I was on the island for that and um, after a while, I, I think it was a year, um, I met Gareth and made my way to my head to cook here on the boat. Well, I think you're one lucky girl. Okay, let's get started on our drink because it is absolutely boiling and I need that refreshment. Yes. So what are we making, first of all? Over here we have a hibiscus and citrus infused drink with um, stick cinnamon. It's a very light and refreshing drink that you can have on any hot day that is just um, yeah, very easy to drink. Light and refreshing is exactly what we need. What do we do first? So what we do is we boil the water, 500 mils of water. Okay. And we're using some local limes, some local oranges, some local cinnamon, and uh, hibiscus flowers. Right. These are not edible, are they? They are edible. Are they edible? Of course they're edible. Oh, wow. You can make teas from them, and you can actually have them in salads. All right, and all of these ingredients you can get them back in South Africa as well, which is great. Yes. Okay, cool. So to your boiling water, you would add all your slices of limes. All right. And... So a good couple of slices. Good couple of slices, good couple of slices of juicy oranges. Jeez, and I can see they are really juicy. Yeah. Wonderful and refreshing. And then to it you add two sticks of stick cinnamon. Alright. And your six flowers of hibiscus. Okay, there's one. Thank you. Alright. All of them. All of them. Okay. So what do these flowers add to the drink? Um, hibiscus flowers, if you've ever had the tea, um, it adds quite a bit of tartness to the drink. Um, a different kind of tart to what the lemon um, or lime would add. But it's really, really delicious and flowery. Um, and it's it, almost like I'm sure a nice tropical taste as yes, well. Yes, it does. Great. Now, of course, we want to sweeten this up a little bit. Um, we're not going to use sugar today. We're going to use Salati sweetener, which is a great alternative, especially if you want to keep the calories down a little bit. Okay, so I think two should suffice? Yes, What do you think? Exactly. All right, you can do one, I'll do one. Okay. How's that? Then I will put my two cents in, my two cents in there as well. Great. Okay. Okay. And then all you do is give it a good stir and let that sit in the fridge for about um, an hour where it will all infuse and mingle and the flavours will be absolutely fantastic. And up until it's nice and chilled as well. Yes. All right, well, I would love to have a taste. Can I be the gentleman and pour off some? All right. And look at the colour. It's absolutely beautiful. I can tell this is going to be refreshing. And then uh, I'm sure we need some ice for that as well. Of course. Perfect. And there we have the perfect tropical drink. And I see you've even made us some accompaniments. Yes, um, this morning I went out and got uh, a local job fish uh, from the local market. It's um, seared job fish sashimi uh, made with sesame seeds, coriander, bean sprouts, uh, carrots and chives. And um, to accompany that, I've made a passion fruit sauce. 
Well, I can definitely see why you are the head chef on board. Let's have a taste. I'm keen to dig into this. Mm. Wow, that is nice and fresh, especially with the cinnamon taste. Love the absolute cinnamon. But if you would like to make this tropical drink yourself at home, all you need to do is SMS the keyword SALATI to 33728. We'll send you the shopping list and also add a link to the recipe. Just bear in mind that those SMSs do cost 1 Rand 50. Alternatively, you can also log on to our Facebook page, Expresso Morning Show SABC3. We'll put everything for you there as well. Thank you so much, Giselle. Eat your heart out, guys. Cheers.